primera sola. ¡No! ¡No! ¡Qué no. hace para echarle! Over your shoulder on your left side. Rachel, right here, Rachel, Rachel. Over your left shoulder. Why are you hiding, Charlie? Why are you hiding? I'm not. I'm not. Just, I'm not okay, holding the limelight. Okay. Everybody in the middle. Middle. Don't worry. Charlie, that's wild. Charlie, this one, Charlie. Thank you. Shentram is my whole world to me. I've, it's my first lead female role as an actor on a huge international show, so I'm very, very grateful. The fact that it's in India, the fact that we're all such an international cast, it just makes this show extremely special. It's a love letter to India, it's a love letter to friendship, it's a love letter to romance. It's a television show based on a novel which is loosely based on a true story about a man in 1979 who was in prison in Australia and wasn't having a very nice time in prison so he escaped, went on the run, ended up in um, Mumbai, Bombay, 1979 and you know falls in love, meets friends, makes enemies, finds God and ends up rising to the top of the Bombay Mafia. Lynn Ford is just like you or I. I mean, it was very important to me in this first season that he feel very neutral and accessible and sort of like he was just on the beginning of his journey. So he's just a regular person, and he was. It's really kind of a story of rebirth and how we bring forth our you know, highest potential for our lives. There are many amazing things about India. I learned a little bit of Hindi. I was mainly um, I was mainly um, speaking Marathi, um, which is the prevalent dialect of Mumbai, um, particularly Bombay in the 80s when we were shooting. Don't ask me to repeat any of it now because I've forgotten all of it. But I I, I have heard that I did okay, literally listening to it and then sort of parroting it back.
We have a, an amazing international cast, some Brits, some Australians, um, a couple of Americans, a bunch of Europeans, um, and then obviously an enormous Indian cast, which was fantastic. It's the very end of a seven-year journey for me. I've been trying to get the show made for seven years. I'm one of the producers as well as one of the actors, so um, it's been a long journey to get this to season one. Lisa Carter is an American vagabond type girl who has found herself in Bombay in 1983, accidentally develops a brown sugar habit and needs to support that through various ways. And when we meet her, when the show begins, she's at rock bottom and her arc, she takes you know, control of her life, finds agency and uh, yeah, tries to, if she can't beat all the rest of the uh, crew, so she'll join them in, in scheming. Charlie is an absolute professional. He is humble, he is intelligent, and he never does the same take twice. You will never, he, he doesn't plan what he's gonna do, he goes with the moment. Every take is new, which makes everyone else have to just react, and it makes being on set with him so much fun. Shantaram comes from the word Shanti, which means peace. So Shantaram would be man of peace. Working with Charlie was really refreshing. You know, we'd seen him on, on screen and obviously seen his body of work. But to see the amount of humility and passion he brings to the project, that was really enriching for an actor like me. And uh, hats off to him because he had, you know, the dog's body of the work. He was on pretty much all the time. And the energy he brought to it, it was just sensational. Shantaram is about, uh, it's like a redemption of a man who found himself uh, in a lot of trouble and now he's trying to seek enlightenment and find a better path for his journey. Here he is uh, Kata Khan's right hand man. Uh, he is Iranian, he's been in India for about 10 or so years and uh, yeah, he's part of the, uh, the mafia there. I look at it as everyone's uh, a human character, like no one in life is really either nice or bad. Everyone's a mixture of both things. So, uh, like I, for instance, I would consider Abdullah a nice guy, but he kills people. He's part of the mob, but he, you know, he's a, he's he's got a good heart deep down. It's a spiritual journey for every character. Every character has to walk through the struggle between love and power and to decide, you know, to really decide which side am I on. And that thin line, that, that's where I felt, yeah, this is good, I like that. I'm so excited. It's my first time, not, not my first time in LA, but my first time on the red carpet in LA. So, I'm so I feel so blessed and so grateful, really. I think Shantaran's about love and connection and really, you know, finding yourself uh, through, I guess, a journey through a foreign land. It's also people who live in this, in this land trying to find themselves, their identity, and the trials and tribulations through that with a beautiful country as a backdrop, which is India. Everyone's so talented, so lovely. I think this whole production is such a global, international, um, show that everyone's come together, brought their talents, their skills, their energy, their background, and it makes it so rich and wonderful to watch. It asks these huge questions about like, what does freedom mean? What is the cost of freedom? It's incredibly entertaining. It's popcorn friendly, it's edge of the sea, like addictive, play next, play next. But at the same time, it's kind of universal philosophy and I think that's the addictive quality behind it. I hope that everyone will ask themselves, what are the choices I take every day in my life and how lucky I am to make these choices. She is a journalist um, and she's uh, a very passionate uh, woman who wants to make her mark on this industry and um, 
Her journey in this story interweaves really interestingly with Linz and then with other characters. Um, but we don't see her until a little bit later in the season, so I can't give too much away. It's so surreal being here and it's my first time in LA as well, so it's like all new experiences. But it feels so great to be able to come back with these people, with the cast and crew, and celebrate this. It was a huge undertaking and it's a massive achievement to make this and to celebrate it with everyone here is just, it's so lovely and it's, you know, it's, um, it's amazing. He's kind of the uh, underground philosopher, you know, he's a, he's a criminal, but also uh, kind of a spiritual guy. As someone who has demons and he's a survivor. Everybody was coming from so many different places, so many different countries. It was wonderful to uh, be all together and create it. we created a community, you know, like, uh, like, in the, uh, like in the series. The same thing happened, uh, uh, you know, behind the curtains, you know, uh, between all of us. I'd always loved the book, you know, I read Shantaram when it first came out 17 years ago and so I was very excited when I was asked to uh, come on board and adapt it. Shantaram is a story about a man who escapes jail and uh, makes his way to India where he falls into lots of adventures all while trying to find a path to redemption. Charlie was already with the project so that was another of the attractions, you know, I couldn't think of anyone better to play the part. I read the book and fell in love with it and always wondered how they would do it as a film because they're, I mean, it's a massive book. And so it was just something that I loved and followed and talked about for a long time and then found myself years later as a producer and I was working with Steve Golan at Anonymous Content and Steve had discovered that the rights had become available and it was a huge, massive bidding war. Every producer came out of the woodwork chasing it and we were a team chasing it and we were lucky enough to win it and I think largely due to our passion for the project. The world has come a long way. I think if you were thinking 10 years ago, you might have questioned, will a global audience watch a subtitled show? And I think that today in this world, there's, there are no barriers to that. I'm so proud to be an EP on this show with a wonderful production team. Nicole Clements, fantastic. Apple have been great. We're so excited the series is happening.